this is about me going into competition and about women. So I'm getting the good, the bad, and the ugly. A lot is good. I'm getting a lot of women I have my gym, gym coming up to me and supporting me and saying, oh my gosh, Grace, you're making so many changes. Your hard work is really showing. Um, but then I get the odd one that is actually discouraging me, trying to discourage me from competing. And some of them are even older female trainers, I think going through midlife crises, um, grieving the loss of their youth. But I mean, they're not much older than me. So, you know, and my message to women is like, if you want it, you can have it because I can do it. You can do it. You know, I was watching a video um, on the, 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 the television on the treadmill and it was a, a woman who had her legs missing from her knees down and her arms missing from her elbows down and she was doing squats and getting up and she and she had made little running shoes for the stumps of her legs I mean come on it's like if you really want to do it you can do it you just have to be a warrior and and instead of projecting your insecurities onto other women be your best self and the thing is when I'm going up there and I'm competing I am not competing against anyone else but me. Nobody else. I'm competing against my old self. I don't believe in competing against other women. It's about standing up on that show and it's like facing the, the fire breathing dragon, which is my own insecurities. And I'm going to be judged by um, people in the fitness community that are like almost pro level. Um, who have been who have, have have six or seven shows behind them and have way more muscle well I'm just still at a, at a base building a base level but you know what it's not about that it's not about competing against them it's about competing against me and saying you know what I love my body I love myself and I love my body and this is about kicking my sugar cravings ever since I was a little girl I was told that uh, you know I have a sweet tooth and I do have a sweet tooth. I love sugar and I needed to get that under control. I needed to be really honest with myself in doing the bodybuilding and shedding the fat. It really is a, a journey of self-discipline and it's very zen-like and almost like a Buddhist-like um, thing for me where um, a lot of spiritualists will will purge and, and you know and, and that's what that's what it's about for me it's about being really honest with myself and my health and really getting a hold of that before you know I I go into midlife because I'm going to be 46 and then the midlife spread takes over you know I want to know the, the best ways for me to to have a healthy body and to look my best for me it's not about competing against other women and putting other women down and having to be better than anyone else and I think jealousy is one of the worst uh, worst qualities in anyone when you're jealous of someone else you're not being grateful for who you are and for what you have to offer so you know, it's it, instead of being jealous of other other women, use other women like the old, the world's oldest um, bodybuilder, I think even Ernest, Ernest, Ernestine, to inspire us, to inspire us. Instead of having it bring you down and making you feel bad about yourself, saying if she can do that, so can I. I can apply myself that way too. There's a little bit of A5 and three five action for you little bit of muscle flexing, showing my hard work, not showing off, showing what I've done for myself. And there is still a lot more to do and a long way to go. It's a journey and it's all about loving the journey, not necessarily the destination.